Open a finder window and there's the CD. I have things in column view normally but for this job it's good to have it in icon view so I click here and down here you can choose how big the icons are. We can look at some of the fonts first. I just double click on that. And then I see there's three different kinds. I'll choose style merge because then the italic and the bold are embedded in the same font file. And there we see 26 items, one for every letter of the alphabet and one for numbers. Let's start at A and see what we get. It takes a moment because it's on a CD. It's quicker if it's on your hard disk. We can change the size of the icon, which of course affects how many we can see at one time. It's quite nice to have an overview first, and then you can zoom in on anything, anything that looks interesting. To look more closely, you've got three possibilities. You can simply click on an item and then press the spacer bar. And then you get a quick view preview. You can make that full screen if you want to and if you select several at once I'm using the command key to, to select ones that aren't together and then press the spacer bar I get the first one first I make the window quick view window bigger and then down here it offers me index sheet, so it's just like a, like a photographic index and gives me a, a preview of all the ones that I selected. I can then click on one of those and that'll come in the centre. Let's see what there is under B. I hold down command and press the up arrow and that takes me back up a level. Let's take, for example, R and see what's there. One for Rick, perhaps. Rubik's looks quite fun. Oh, let's say I'll just take the basic one and I double click on it and it opens the application called Font Book. It doesn't open the Font Book itself. I can choose that if I want to, to see all the others that I've got installed, 400 of them. Um, but I don't need that for this job. It's just a question of installing it. I just click install font and now I've got 401. And here again, of course, in the font book, I can play to my heart's content with sizes. H to hide the font book. Let's go up a level and up another level and up another level and we can look at the clip art images. Animals, borders, cartoons, food, people, transportation, maybe borders is perhaps something that would interest you. Landscape and portrait, of course that's just the orientation. Seasonal, that seems to be the, the character of it. There will be all kinds of styles I'm sure square one. I'll double click on landscape to open that folder and that's one way of looking at stuff of course but there's an awful lot of wasted space. I can press command J to open the options for this window and if I like them and want to use them for all windows then I click there. The first thing perhaps is to put them in alphabetical order at least for now. And that gives us uh, a lot less wasted space. Then I can change the grid spacing. Now, of course, I can't see what they're called, but uh, this is perhaps the, the smallest size 
that will let me see the names of them, but the names don't say much anyway, so I'm quite happy just to look at the pictures, and I can make the pictures whatever size I want. The limitation here is that since this is a 10-year-old collection, the icons themselves are not very big, not many pixels. So maybe that's enough to give me an idea. Text size could be smaller perhaps. Might give me more picture space, doesn't seem to make a difference. On the other hand, putting the text at the bottom instead of on the right makes quite a difference. It means I can see the whole collection of uh, 170 items all at once. I can close the options there. As before, I can click on an item and press the spacer and it comes up and shows me what it looks like. It takes a little moment because they're EPS files. And again, if I select several all at once, I can press the index sheet button. There's nothing I can do to get more pictures on but I can change the size of them. Press spacer again and the choice disappears. When I find one I like, I can double click on it and it'll open in preview. It is of course vector graphics, <clears throat> so it'll work at any size. And I can save it in any one of many different formats. If I want to keep the vectors, then I perhaps save it as PDF. If I want to paste it into a program like Pages, I might save it as a picked. Could just call it border and save it on the desktop. It wasn't a border, of course. I gave it the wrong name, but I can change that. Just hold on Command and click on the name and go down one level to the desktop where it is. And it comes up called border, but it's actually a, what is it? It's a sandy scene. 